Recently I saw a web series called Silicon Valley and that series was amazing and in that series there was a guy named Gilfoyle and he created an AI which responds in place of him so if he receives any message the AI responds in place of him as he would have sent it so I thought why not create something like this by using deep learning techniques and see how far we can get through it and in this video the same results I'm going to share with you and all of the code which I used to create this will be in down description with a perfect step by step installation uh, procedure it will be a github link and in this video I'm only going to share with you the results and uh, the three steps which I did for do, for creating this model and training the model and after that I share the results with you if you want a detailed coding coding part of this let me know in down comment section I'll create that too so let's get started first of all the part was getting the data so getting the data was not that difficult at all first I went to my whatsapp and went to the chat with with whom I talk most and I just selected two or three chats for from random and then I exported the chat and after that I got this after transferring those chats into my laptop and I got these chats of course this is private and I can't share it with you and it was not cleaned at all first so first I did clean by using find and replace techniques and then I wrote a manual uh, script which automated the cleaning part uh, this is the script I want to share with you so you can just have a look at it and once I have the cleaned chat uh, with me then the task was to create a model then I wrote another script for that which is training.py and this uh, in this I used LSTM model uh, for the training part since uh, it is a sentential data meaning the output depends on the previous uh, predictions also so I used the LSTM models for this and uh, I used functional API to create the model again if you want detailed coding part let me know I will just make very detailed part how to create this from scratch once I have trained the model, created the model, fit the data on this, the task was to infer, meaning to uh, run the prediction. So for running the prediction, I just wrote another script and saved the model from training.py by model.h5, loaded the model in infer.py. And once we have loaded the model, uh, it, the task was just to make the predictions. So it was very uh, quick overview what I did, uh, how I just wrote in few three steps, getting the data, creating the model, training the model and running the inference. Now let's see how far good results we got. So I'll just open my terminal and go to the same directory. All right, so uh, I will just erase this. Now I'm in the directory. Now I'll just run this. Uh, first, I'll activate my conda and let's run this python info.py. Alright, alright, so let's skip some space. Alright, so let's give hi. It sent hello. Let's give hello. It sent hi. So if I say bye, it said bye. If I say uh, uh, keep in mind I am from India so I do chat in Hindi and uh, my native language is Hindi and I do chat in Punjabi language also so the chats would be the replies would be the mixture of all of these three languages English Hindi and Punjabi so keep in mind that and uh, trust me the results are amazing so if I say call college so it's and okay so we'll go uh, 11 am so call green is and ha uh, hey so i'll just keep on uh, giving you more examples so i'll just fast quickly fast forward all these replies
as you can see that it is working with emojis also since my chats contained emojis So this ERR message is uh, if any word come out of the dictionary which I haven't trained my model on. So it sends the ERR message uh, instead of just crashing the program in between. So just I will quit over here and if you want to uh, learn how to run this, how to train the model on your chat, I will just write step by step instruction down in the github link which you can find easily in the description and if you want to know how to create this from scratch let me know i will create a tutorial video too if you found this video helpful or this project helpful interesting make sure to give this video a thumb up and i will catch you in the next video till then goodbye